and we can couple the generators. By doing that, we can reduce the energy usage down to, down to just supporting the hull of the ship and generating the barrier. This will allow most of the energy to be devoted to generating the barrier. I know, yeah, the music's like, this is the preparation for battle. The, the prep for battle music. Next, shift the barrier to full front and focus it to a single point where their main cannon will make it strike. Now for movement. First off, we develop a barrier by engaging Excalibur's generator to maximum power. For propulsion during that time, we'll install on the Yggdrasil those large solid rockets we got from the ruins of the mass driver. I see, so the ship's not going to do any propulsion whatsoever, they're just installing extra crap on it. When Excalibur's barrier expires, we'll use the Yggdrasil force generated to develop, to develop a barrier. Then we'll also detach the solid rockets and shift the Excalibur into conventional flight. I'm just going to assume this works, guys. There's a lot of steps here. Using this method, we can get right in Merkava's face. After it fires, it'll be defenseless. During this time, we'll block the muzzle of Merkava's cannon with Excalibur's bow ram. Upon which we should have 0.67 seconds. Oh my gosh, you, that's a lot, that's very little time. <coughs> Excuse me. With the cannon fire of the Excalibur, we'll destroy the Yggdrasil 4 slave generator and incapacitate the Merkava along the way, and then we break through. Well, that's what the plan's all about. The combination of the barriers of both ships storming the Merkava. The timing of the cannon fire of the cannon fire of the Excalibur. These are all going to be crucial. Good thing yeah, no, no kidding. I'd be like, oh my gosh, what do what, what were the steps I had to do again? Quick time events. Oh no! You have to deal with that in Bayonetta quite a few times, but I don't know. Mess up any one of these, and the consequences are going to be severe. Hence, it will be necessary to have both crews in sync with each other. And apparently, the translators can't even pronounce, can't even spell sync. So, never mind. That's why I'd like to play Sig in command of the Excalibur. Oh no, bots! Body the bot, bot. Get out, bot. Oh gosh, how are you? I may need a mod bot at this point to kill the box. I have no qualms with that. Punch it again. <laughs> what do you think, Queen? Will you lend us our, your battleship? Since there appears to be no other alternative, let us go with that. Please, use it as you see fit. But are we not cu cutting it uncomfortably close? When you calculate the arrival time and the barrier generation time, you will see what I mean. One, mi one minor mishap will put us in a situation where we could run out of barrier power before our arrival. Also, we will be devoting both generators to keeping the barriers up. Won't that leave us without perimeter defenses? We won't stand a chance if we get engaged by the Seraph Angels on our way to Merkava. We'll hold them off. You can count on us. You guys just concentrate on taking out that main cannon. Thanks. We're depending on you. Already, everywhere else has been taken out. This is the only place that's left. This is going to be the true final battle. Final battle. <laughs> I guess we're not going to see this actually take place. We set out to silence God's Ark, Merkava, which was the epitome of offensive and defensive power. 
and then storm inside it. We initiated the opera operation to destroy Zahar. Oh, okay, we do get seen. Cutscene time. Oh no, the main cannon. Cannons, the cannons stop firing, and we have just enough time to hit it. I like how they're actually going to execute it right in front of our faces, which is good. Going to use the shaft. Nice! Get him? I like I like. We're gonna execute the plan. Pat executed. Good job, guys. Looks like we got Merc the Merkava. It's going down. Good job. Wow, that was that went smoother than expected. Good job, everybody. I like that we didn't have to do these like coordinate these buttons or. Oh, that can't be! Uh-oh, what's going on? A secondary explosion? Oh no, I should have known better! What a miscalculation! The explosion was too big! It reacted with the main condenser right under the main cannon! Uh-oh, we made too much of an explosion. And induced a secondary explosion! How could I have been so stupid? Oh, so what's going to happen, guys? I'm, I'm kind of lost here. Uh, you mean we overdid it? Why did I not realize it sooner? This means we might have... Oh, he's worried we destroyed Ellie by mistake. Oops. Uh, oops. This, that, this means we might have... Oh no, Ellie! Oh, oh my gosh, Ellie! What is... What, what is it this time? Hey, Satan! What more is going to happen? Something is happening in the center of Merkava. What could it be? He's like worried. Like, did we just hurt everybody? No, I think we're. Uh oh. That? What is that? What the crap is that? Oh. Oh, that's an interesting. Ooh. Uh oh. Whoa! It's going to destroy the world. Or it's killing all the vegetation. This is like the effects of pollution or something in real time. Oh. Deus shows up and resumes original programming. Or someone. Or we're gonna find out what's gonna happen here. At the at that time, the earth quaked and sh the earth shook and quaked. I guess yes. And from the location where the Merkava crashed, a giant object appeared. It was Deus's final form. The Merkava was merely its vessel. Deus evolved through the use of Krellian's nano machines into a planetary scale weapon and began terraforming. Oh, that's not good. It was attempting to convert this entire planet into a planet into a weapon. We retreated back to the base at the Snow Plains to form a new strategy. We decided to go back into Deus. Time was running out for us. Oh, it's terraforming. Oh, I see what's going on. 
forte answering those questions before we even get to them. Oh, we get to save. Okay, so... I suspect we need Simpson. My Econometer! I still don't have it! Okay, sorry. I, I still remember that. It was just like a... <sighs> okay, let's... Um, wait, can I not change my party? Okay. Okay, right, we'll just stick to the party we have right now. Let's make a save here. No, okay, we're halfway through the stream here. Hmm. Save in top of paradise here. Explore everywhere in here, lots of items. Rest in bed? No, I'm good. Rest in bed? I'm good. Oops. I'll leave Bart with this equipment. Okay, Midori. Do I even have Midori's ring at this point? Ah, uh, yes. I still have all the Solera. I don't think I have her ring! Or do I? I don't know. I guess you can talk to her later. The Shabbat map. very beginning of the game? Huh. I don't think we got that because I didn't know any better at the time. Hey, hey, welcome. What can I do for you today, hey? What do you have? Thor's Thunder. I probably missed the ring. Behind the bush. Yeah, I definitely didn't get that. Otherwise, I would have had it here. That was all like, ring? What are you talking about? Oh. Nope. Sorry, guys. What are we gonna do now? I think I have all the ammo. Oh, Godson! Wait, we already have some. Yeah, I didn't know at the time. Thor's Thunder. The Sonic Wave. Uh, should I get it for... I don't know if I'm gonna use Bart too much. I'm probably gonna use uh, Maria if I have to. Come again! Though this space is the last refuge for humans. As you can no doubt see, we have almost no supplies. Anyway, we're using a fallen piece of Shabbat as the main base. But uh, you probably could have guessed that, huh? Oh, you wouldn't know. Oh, I see. Thanks for letting me know. We can take out Deuce Deus even one day sooner. We can't. We can't hold out much longer than like this. Hey, I've got all kinds of good stuff here. Hey, you need anything? Why are you hating me so much, guys? Uh, so we have these in case I need any more of them. You have the super version. EP. Oh, they do have the Alpha and the Sigma. Yeah, why not? These could be helpful for later. I think that's good. Oh, that sucks. Oh, special quest you can meet. Hey, anytime you need anything. Hey! Oh, what the heck? Us people of Shabbat have always dreamed of coming down to live on the planet's surface. Ah, oh, but we didn't ever imagine this would be how we would realize that dream. This is unbearable! 
Okay. You guys have anything interesting else? Do you sell scrap? 